Classroom of the Elite season 3 episode 12 is here jamming my favorite light novel volume into the final two episodes. Honestly at this point I don't even have the energy to be mad. I just really hope they don't ruin the last episode. Also before I talk about all the cut content for this episode I have to mention that this episode rearranged a lot of scenes and changed some stuff around. So I'm only going to be talking about cut content from moments that did get adapted in episode 12 and things that I'm sure are going to be completely skipped. Also, because of the rearranged scenes, things I should have talked about in this video might be in the next video depending on whether they get skipped or not. With all that being said though, let's dive into all the cut content for this episode. This time the volume starts with a Horikita monologue, which was jammed into like 10 seconds when Horikita was cutting her hair. In her monologue, Horikita talks about whether she wants to meet with Manabu or not and being anxious about how he's gonna feel about her. Along with her talking about how she feels like a fake and hiding her true self, pretending to be a completely different person. Along with her finally coming to the decision to cut her hair. Next up we have Kyo coming to school for the graduation ceremony. He also mentions that he's actually really excited for it as it would be his first time experiencing one. After that, he runs into Yukimura on the way there and they talk about a lot of things such as the results of the special exam and Yukimura mentioning how he feels dumb for trying to get help from Katsuragi. Their conversation was quite long so I'm kinda just glossing over it but it was a pretty good scene as Kiyo also thinks about how much Yukimura has grown over this year. He changed from being a person who thought academics was everything and looked down on people he considered dumb to slowly realizing the power of teamwork and trying to help the class in a way that wasn't through academics even though he did kind of fail. We also get to see the class points after the exam. And as you can see, things are not looking good for Ichinose's class. Then we finally have the graduation speech. First up, Kiyo wonders how he's gonna look up there during his graduation in two years and what he will be thinking about. Really sad that this got cut. After that, Kiyo noticed how the first year students have changed compared to the start of the school year and Manabu also mentions this during his speech. Aside from that, the scene was pretty much the same. Then we have the call between Kiyo and Arisu's father. First up, their conversation was way longer in the light novel, which is honestly the case with this entire episode. Every conversation in this episode feels like an exposition to move the plot forward rather than two characters talking, which really sucks. The anime only goes over the key points of this conversation, such as setting up the meeting between Mashima Sensei. But I still wish they kept in this line of Kyo saying that, for the first time in his entire life, he is setting goals for himself. And the anime also cuts out, Arisu's dad saying that there's not much that they can do in regards to Sukishiro and Kyo replying that he will handle Sukishiro himself and he only needs them to have his back if things go south and try to stop him from exploiting his powers as the director. Then we move on to the meeting with Chabashira and Mashima Sensei. Once again this was way longer in the light novel, they also skipped Kyo talking with Chabashira before Mashima Sensei arrived. Chabashira talks about how she is disappointed in Kyo because he lost in the special exam despite being so confident and starts to doubt his abilities. So in order to make her help him, Kyo throws in a bone saying that he's seriously gonna try to reach for class A. Then Mashima Sensei arrives with Arisu and then they begin their talk which was really long compared to the anime. I doubt most of y'all are gonna be interested in the discussion so I'm not gonna dive into all the details though. Then we have the graduation party and the first change that really annoyed me in this episode. Before Manabu goes over to talk with Kyo, he actually gets approached by Nagumo. And unlike what you would expect, he goes in for a handshake one last time and genuinely congratulates Manabu for graduating in class A. I am genuinely mad this scene got cut because it adds so much to Nagumo's character. Ever since he was introduced, he always gives off an overconfident and narcissistic vibe. Then seeing him genuinely respecting Manabu and being sad that they couldn't be in the same year together really adds some much needed layers to his character. Then Nagumo talks about how he still plans to turn the school into a true meritocracy and Manabu also says that 
he would have liked to see what kind of school Nagumo was building. Then Nagumo goes over to talk with Suzune and Kyo, which was also skipped in the anime. And this is something extremely funny when you realize the fact that in the anime, Nagumo and Kyo haven't even interacted once. This man is supposed to be really important during the second year and he hasn't had a single interaction with the main character. This is truly a special anime adaptation. Nagumo says that Manabu was one hell of a guy and Suzune should be proud to have him as a brother. Then he says that they should look forward to the next year while glancing at Kyo. Then Nagumo talks about how much he regrets not being able to properly compete with Manabu because they weren't in the same year. And then he says that he only wanted to be recognized by Manabu and he knows what Manabu plans to do after graduation and he's gonna follow him there. And Asahina Senpai's reaction to this was hilarious as she was basically thinking that Nagumo was gay as hell. After that we have a small scene with Hirata where he talks to Kyo about what he should do with Michan's confession and also says that he's never seriously dated anyone. After that he also asks if he can start calling Ayano Koji by his first name with this illustration. And the blushing makes him look very sus to be honest. But it's actually quite a wholesome scene because Hirata says that after that middle school incident, he tried to never get close to anyone. Then we have the meeting between Horikita and Ichinose. On his way there, Kiyo actually runs into Ibuki on the elevator and his random encounters with Ibuki are like a staple of 0.5 volumes. This one was just a very awkward elevator ride. After that, they got approached by Ishizaki because he was waiting for Ibuki. Then, Ishizaki says that he thought of a great plan to guarantee class A. And his plan is to get Kyo to join their class. And he also says that Albert actually likes Kyo. Kyo says that it's not a bad plan. But of course, Ishizaki didn't think of the details and where they're gonna get the 20 million points. He then says that it's more enjoyable for him to have them as enemies instead. Then we finally move on to the meeting. This was once again way longer in the light novel. The anime really condensed it. But they did cut out a really important moment. During their talk, Kiyo intentionally reveals that he's the one who asked Tichinose to let them fight Class A to see how Horikita is going to react. This also leads to a very important talk between Kiyo and Horikita that definitely needs to be adapted if they have any plans for second year adaptation. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video because it could be in the next episode but I'm really wondering how they're gonna handle it considering the fact that Horikita has already cut her hair in the anime. Then we finally have the Manabu scene to end off the episode. His conversation with Kyo also gets extremely shortened with lots of important stuff cut out. First up, Kyo apologizes that he couldn't do much to help with stopping Nagumo and then says that he's gonna see what Nagumo is trying to accomplish first. After that, Manabu gives Kyo his and Tachibana's phone numbers and tells him to call them if he has any trouble after graduation. Then Manabu talks about leaving an impact on the school or at least on the students. And in the light novel, Manabu's words actually leave an impact on him. Then we have Horikita's arrival and talk, which did not have many changes, but they did cut out a really important monologue from Kiyo. Kiyo says that if he had even one more year to spend with Manabu and learn more about him, he might have been able to change as well. And that is all the cut content and changes for this episode.